I'm gonna close the blinds. <coughs> so I'm gonna paint today. <laughs> What's going on? My name is Haley and I look pretty today, so I'm gonna film. So today I was inspired by this on TikTok. I saw it, it was such a, she was so pretty. When I saw her, I was like, I've got to paint her. Not like a, not like a, not, not in a creepy kind of way. <clears throat> anyway, I saw her and I was like, I want to paint her. I don't really know how to paint people, but but I can do this and I and I and I can do this. <laughs> so, so because of these, you know, my confidence was through the roof, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna paint this beautiful black queen from TikTok in this fantasy like ethereal thing that she did, and I was like, oh my god, yes. I'm so excited. It's Black History Month, if you don't know, are you racist? Since it's Black History Month, I wanted to do a painting for this month. Um, if you didn't know, I am black, yes. I wanted to do a painting that celebrated Black History Month, so that's what I'm gonna do. And uh, let's get started. So y'all know, this is my little setup. And if the audio quality just got better, that's because I finally remembered to get a mic and I didn't remember to put it on until after the intro. So there's that. So first things first is I want to start with the background and I kind of thought I'd go for like a bluish, greenish, pastel-y, very light kind of background because I don't want the background to overshadow her and she's going to be so vibrant. So that's my plan. So this is what I came up with. It's very, you know, it feels like it has movement already just like this. So I'm really excited to add, you know, the lady and get all the details in there. So the next thing I need to do is sketch. So I have her set up on my computer and then I'll sketch her down here. I kind of use two things. I either use this white pencil or a normal, you know, pencil. But the white one doesn't normally show up sometimes. So we'll see which one I end up using. But first, some cake for lunch. So I'm back and um, the drawing is done. I think it turned out really nice. It took me way longer to sketch this out than it should have. I had to go sketch it on the floor. Like I had to get on top of it, like I gotta do this. Ended up printing out the inspo because it was a lot harder for me to see it on the computer to be able to sketch it out i had to put it right next to me also i'm really excited for this painting like i think it's going to turn out really well i hope i don't jinx myself but let's get into this painting so i'm going to start with painting her body so this is where I am currently. Lots of shading going on. I'm quite excited. So I'm done with the overall skin tone. Now I just have to do the details in the eyeshadow, the eyelashes, the eyebrows, the lips, the nostrils, the hair. Okay, there's a lot to left to do. But for now I'm gonna do, uh, I think I'll do the lips. So there we go, now her lips are done. Now I'm gonna go and do her eyes because I gotta do all the eyeshadow and all that. See you then. So it's nighttime now and um, this is how far I got. Quite a lot of to go. Um, I might do the eyeshadow tonight. What? Either way, let's check in tomorrow. <laughs> So it's a new day and it's time to continue this painting. So I ended up not putting eyeshadow on her, so it's time to put in all the details and obviously her hair is gonna make a huge difference. Let's get to it. She kinda has like a light orange eyeshadow and then a darker orange on the outside, so that's what I'm gonna try to do. So now I'm done 
done with the eyeshadow, I'm just gonna work on the eyelashes and the eyes, and then I'll probably come back when I'm doing the eyebrows because the eyebrows are the same color as the hair. So that's why I'm putting them off. So see y'all then. So now I'm done with her eyeballs, and I think they turned out amazing. So the next thing I'm gonna do is put the details in the nose and the eyebrows and the hair. I think I'll come back to you guys when I am working on her bra. This part. So now I'm done with her bra. I think it looks really nice. I changed a lot of things about the original design, like most of it. And I tried to take away like the bra part to make it look a little bit more like earthy. She's like an earth elf, fairy, fairy. Oh my God, I forgot she's a fairy. Where is she gonna have her wings? I forgot she had wings. These are wings. Okay, gotta have wings. Okay, new thing to do later. Anyway, I'm taking a lunch break. So I gotta be honest, it's a new day. After I remember that she had butterfly wings, I kind of like lost all the wind in my sail. I'll do the wings first, because I haven't even drawn them out. Huh. Say hi to Leah. She's an azalea. My grandma got her for me for Valentine's Day. She's so pretty. So... <laughs> So close. Anyway, so let me get started sketching and we'll see how this goes. And the wings are done. So all I have left is to do all of the hair and then the little flower accessories on the hair and I think it'll be done, unless I add something. So, who knows? So now I'm done with the hair. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I'm done with half of the hair. I've pretty much outlined all of it. I'll show you in a second. And with like this little, this little brush. So I make sure I get all the details right. And actually I'm having a dilemma, hold on. So here she is, and the dilemma I'm having is that her hair goes really long on this side, but it's kind of short on this side. And don't, don't come at me, that's how it, oh, I almost fucked it up. Hold on, let me put this brush down. Mm -hmm. That's how it is in the original, like, if you, hold on. you can see it's short up here and it's super long down here. So I'm conflicted whether to continue the hair like under here, which I think I actually might because I, I think there needs to be some continuation. So I'm gonna make that executive decision and continue her hair down here a little bit. And then I just gotta fill her in and then add texture. See you at the next point. What? See you at the next point. So now that I'm done with her hair texture, which I think came out amazing. Look at this. I didn't know I could do this. God. So now I'm gonna do the little flowers on her hair. I'm at least gonna do five, but I might do more. We'll see. So this is what I end up doing for the flowers. I actually really liked how they turned out as well. I wish I could have done a little bit better on this one. Kind of just came up with it, but I think five is enough. I don't really want to try to do another one and then it, it um, doesn't work. So I'm gonna stop. Now for the final touches. And she is gorgeous oh my gosh when I first started this I did not think that I was gonna get through it I was like I think I bit off more than I can chew Whoa. just look at her 
what detail I put in her. Her hair has texture and her wings are green. I think that was a really good choice on my end instead of the black wings. My God, I love this. Look at her eyes. can paint <laughs> oh my god I'm done this painting right here oh my god it took a lot longer than I thought it was going to take but I feel like all my paintings end up taking longer than I think they're gonna paint take longer than I think they're going to take I'm also gonna post her on my TikTok. so if y'all want to check me out there you can feel free to I feel so proud of myself and I hope y'all enjoyed this painting session it took three days for me, but it took, you know, one sitting for you. <laughs> I put my heart and soul to, into this. The reason I chose a painting like this um, for Black History Month is because I feel, I was just talking to my sister about this, that there's not really like black people in fantasy movies or fantasy characters. And when I saw her, I was like, oh my God, I have got to paint that if I can. And um, I can. <laughs> so I'm really proud of myself. This painting was one of the ways I decided to celebrate Black History Month. If you want, you can uh, subscribe. <laughs> I don't know. I'm done. Ciao.